The Maldives is an ocean nation. Over a thousand different fish species inhabit this patch of the Indian Ocean, occasionally in significant numbers. Here in the Maldives, we have the biggest population of manta rays that's ever been recorded in the world. They've got around 5,100 uh, individuals in the database. Beth Faulkner leads a team of researchers at the Manta Trust, a conservation charity. Six days a week for over half the year, this group heads out to a UNESCO protected bay in hopes of finding mantas to study. And surprisingly, this weather is the weather they want. In the rainy season, you get plankton trapped in the closed end of the bay, and then the mantas will then come to feed on this plankton that's trapped there. It depends on the currents and the winds, so we need them to be perfect. I don't see any mantas. I can see them in the shallows. Oh yeah, there are some in the shallows. So we've just arrived Tani Furry Bay. You can see the mantas here on the surface already. So they're already feeding, which is, is great for us. As soon as the team spots their subjects, it's time for a closer look. Manta rays are really majestic creatures and they're known as gentle giants, so they have no sting, no teeth, nothing they can do to hurt humans. These reef manta rays, which feed on the surrounding particle-like plankton, can reach four meters in width and weigh up to 700 kilos. Today, they're considered a vulnerable species, with the global population decreasing, mainly due to habitat degradation. I've been working with mantas since 2017, and you get to spend a lot of time with the same mantas. I definitely believe that they all have different personalities, um, and this is something that hopefully people will look into in the future. For now, Beth's team collects data on their population size, behavioural habits and reproduction. Manta rays have only been studied for just over a decade. In scientific terms, that's not that long. So there's still so many questions that we don't know the answers to. And you can't persuade people to protect something that they don't know that much about. So far, the team's work has helped lead to legal habitat protection for mantas and their inclusion on the Maldivian National Protected Species list. If we don't take steps to protect them now, they're not going to be here for much longer in order for other generations to see. And the encounters that I have, I would love as many people to have those as possible.